Many thanks for staying with us. Supreme Court has nullified the judgment which convicted former governor of Abia State, Oji Uzokalu. A seven-man panel of the Apex Court also set aside the judgment which convicted Ude Udogu, a former director of finance and accountant at the Abia State Government House. The Supreme Court gave the judgment on Friday more than one year after both men were convicted or almost one year after both men were convicted of corruption allegations leveled against them by the federal government. Justice Mohammed Idris of the Federal High Court in Lagos had sentenced Kalu to 12 years imprisonment in his judgment that was delivered on April 24, 2019. He also sentenced Udogu to 10 years imprisonment. Reacting to the judgment, the EFCC says it is ready to rearrange the lawmaker. Seven justices of the Supreme Court in a unanimous judgment have has affirmed the in a unanimous judgment allowed the appeal of Ude Jones Udog against the judgment of the Court of Appeal, wherein the Court of Appeal held that a justice of the Court of Appeal can go back to the Federal High Court to conclude a trial. And the Supreme Court just said today that no justice of the Court of Appeal is competent to return to the Federal High Court to conclude any matter. They are not guilty of any offense and they have never been tried for any offense. And as such, they are going to be released. That is the implication of this judgment. This will question legislative tyranny. You know, you cannot teach any statute against the provisions of the Constitution and that statute will not stand. It is the Supreme Court. There is nothing we can say. The Supreme Court is final. Whatever the decision of the Supreme Court is, uh, everyone has to abide by it. We have to go back and sit down and review, then we'll take the decision.